Hey guys, gals and legionnaires, Rakon here, and welcome to episode 7 of Let's Relax with Rimworld. Now you might notice things look slightly different, and that's because I've got my mods properly implemented now. I was having some issues before, so they weren't properly displaying, so now we can see that we can click on our colonists up the top here, which saves a lot of time and just makes the game a little bit more, uh, a little bit more easier to operate. Now... Things are still relatively okay outside, the temperature is alright, but winter will be coming eventually, so it's something that's definitely on our mind, something that we need to look into. We've got our cool room here, which is going to help keep things nice and cold, but we're also going to have to look at getting some fires inside as well, some heaters. Now these rooms here that I have, they're only really going to be temporary rooms for everyone else. I'm actually going to have this as a staging room of sorts, where I'm going to keep equipment and things like that for when they go outside, they can just quickly grab things from this room here, and I'm actually going to build out a small portion from here as well, so there's an airlock of sorts, so that um, we're not going to be letting heat in and out um, when, they, when they're coming in and out. Um, I also might look at shifting this at some point so that we're actually venting the air directly outside, but obviously in doing that it may create a potential entrance into the fortress, so we might have to try and look at barring, barring that off as well. Now, the eagles have returned in the form of Pete and Naomi. At this stage, there's just two of them, which I think we should be able to handle easily enough. We have our two turrets out here. Um, we still don't really have anywhere major for them to, to hide behind. So we're probably just going to get Logan, say, over this side here, and Nick over this side here, and hope that they come down here. Because I think, I think they're waiting to attack at this stage. All right. We're just going to try and get rid of these really quick because they've popped back up. Okay. Let's see if I can get rid of it. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, we're just going to quickly have a look at that. We'll go into the health because we know that um, Leon actually has a little stab scar. Um, yeah, unfortunately. So we're just going to quickly go to that and, you know, what, we'll go that and then... Turn that off and hopefully, yeah, great, okay, all nice and clear, fantastic. Um, I'm just going to see what's happening here, if they are, no, they're not attacking outright. Um, so, it would be nice if we could get a, um, a second turret up before they get here, um, but I don't know whether or not we're actually going to be able to. I think, I'm going to go out there and say that I think that we should be able to take care of this easily enough. A group of hungry alpha beavers have just arrived. Try to eliminate them before they decimate every last tree in the region. Great. That's a whole heap of them. So, you know, that's also potentially a ton of meat that we could get as well. So, as soon as we've dealt with these guys here, that's definitely something that we're going to have to worry about. Um, I don't know if they're aggressive at all, um, but I think that Le um, sorry, Logan should be able to take care of them just fine. So we're just going to let time roll on for a little bit longer and let everyone continue doing what they were doing at that time. How are we doing in here, guys? Uh, Logan is still cooking up some meals. That's good. It's going to be nice to have some meals on standby, but it's probably going to be better for us to have them stored in here. But Leon is actually hauling some things, which is a, a miracle. So actually, I'm going to let him continue doing that for a little bit. Let's see what Nick's up to. Okay, he's coming back inside to grab something to eat as well. Um, it looks like he got most of the trees down, so we're going to have another solar panel up soon, which is good. I'm going to look at deconstructing these, moving them up here, and I am going to move the batteries inside as well, and kind of keep them in their own separate area, uh, as I've found that they can be quite dangerous, especially if they're left outside. They, uh, they can get worn down, so we don't want that to happen, so we won't let it happen. How are we sitting here? Hmm. It's actually a pretty good um, defensive position here that we might be able to get Logan to sit in. But you know what? I'm going to allow them to rest. Let these guys get a little bit tired and a little bit more worn down. I'm completely okay with that. But those alpha beavers, holy crap, they do tear for it really fast. Wow, that's... Shit. Okay. That does concern me somewhat. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah. 
shit. <laughs> wow, I really didn't expect them to tear through that that quick. Um, I'm actually going to mark them. Ah, perfect timing. All right, so everyone's still asleep at this stage, but I'm going to draft Logan, get him to come up here. Draft Nick, get him to come up here. And Leon, Leon can hang out for now. Let's see. Yeah, they are going to come down this way. Where is the other guy? Pete, okay. Now, is Pete, which way is he going to go? That's my question. Oh, hang on. No. Ooh, that was a mistake. I actually just wanted to see how far Logan can shoot. Okay, decently far, which is good. Um, Nick obviously has a lot shorter range. I'm a little bit concerned about Leon working out here. But I'll let him do it for now. Oh shit, okay. You know what, Leon? Just just, just stop, buddy, just stop. You need to come back inside here. We need to play a little bit more safe than this. Okay, alright. Now Nick is going to be able to jump around the corner and take a few shots at Pete. Here we go. Okay, he's not the best shot. Oh, not bad, not bad. Okay, great. We're doing pretty good here. All right, fantastic. Come on, Nick, you can do it. I think Naomi is going to try and run for that door there, but she's not going to be able to get out. I'm just going to lock it, just in case. Um, but we're going to get Logan to run up. Hell, you know what? We'll get Leon to come in a melee attack as well. Uh, so Naomi is a chef, eh? Uh, you know what? We'll undraft you, and we'll undraft Logan as well, because I think Leon is going to be able to take care of this. Come on, Leon, you got this. Okay, and unfortunately he did actually end up killing her. Unfortunately. So, we'll just end up by taking anything else that she had on her that could be of value. Um, she did have a hat down here. I'll get Leon to chuck that on for now. Why not? And you know what? We're going to prioritize getting her buried. As soon as we can. Okay, let's see. Undraft. Ah, you're right on it already. Okay, fantastic. So, we just had a shiv and another shiv. Oh, okay, right. I actually forgot that they actually weren't that well armed. Um, so, they were just coming at us with melee weapons. So, that's all good. Um, it looks like... He, Pete, over here, has a uh, duster on. So I'm going to get Logan to chuck that on for now. Um, I am going to want those parkers to get built eventually. Uh, they're going to be quite important for us to have. Alright. Oh, so we actually dropped quite a quite a bit there. So we've got a cloth t-shirt, cloth pants, pretty awful quality, and a really poor quality duster. Um, it's better than nothing. We'll get him to chuck it on for now. And we are going to have to designate some more graves to be dug. We are going to need them. Well, we've probably made decent enemies of the eagles now. No doubt they are going to be... Well, they're going to be coming back for us. I'm probably going to want to chuck a power switch in here at some point, but this turret really ain't drawing that much at this stage, so I'm okay with leaving that for now. But now that that's done, I desperately need these to be taken care of. So I'm going to go into our overview here, and I'm going to get under hunting. I want to get, no, just Nick and Logan to go and hunt. Because um, I think it's going to be definitely our top priority at the moment. I'll let you finish that. Okay, good. Head on out, Logan. Hmm. I'll unforbid that. Um, that was from Sparky from when he first attacked us. Oh, shit. Wow, Nicky got up there really fast. Okay, so they're not aggressive. That's good. Oh. And is he almost dead? <laughs> this will be good um, shooting training for Nick as well. Because um, we all know that he needs it. 
Only thing I'm going to have to watch out for is that Nick and Logan don't actually end up shooting each other. Because that'd be really bad. Again, it's uh, good, shooting blah, good shooting training for Logan as well. Because um, he does need it. Um, okay, now that our refrigeration room is... It seems to be working relatively well, although I do want that temperature to go down more than it is at the moment now, so I'm just going to drop it down. Make that target temperature 1 degrees. Mm, 11? No, that's probably a little too cold. Yeah, it just starts drawing too, way too much power. So I'll make it the target 5. And the temperature in there is ridiculously hot. And we had a mysterious blight destroy our crops. That sucks. We were able to get a number of potatoes done before then, um, but still, it's it's not great. Really, really not the best. Um, we're going to want to try and keep the potatoes in here as much as possible. Um, yeah, or else they're just going to end up spoiling before we can use them properly. Good, we're getting lots of deaths. Um, after they've been killed off, I'm going to unforbid them so that they can actually bring them back and butcher them because, you know, it's better than just letting them go to waste. As soon as they get tired, they should head back, though. Um, those graves have not been dug yet. Actually, that was Leon. Yes, that's who I want. That's who I want. <laughs> the hat, for some reason, is confusing me. For some reason, I thought the hat would be on Logan. I'm pretty sure that this is the problem that we're having here with that there, so I can just always tell Leon to quickly move it out the way. But we actually have we have a few simple meals in our stockpile at the moment, which is good. Um, but I really need to get things going in this freezer room as soon as possible as well. I'm actually going to look at moving this out and into here. Um, actually, you know what? No, I'm not, because they shouldn't be working in the cold. We just want to store the food in the cold here, so... We're going to now create a stockpile within there. Let's have a look. Okay. And it is going to be our... Yes, we want manufactured food in there as well. So we'll clear it all. And we are just going to go for food. Actually, not not manufactured textiles, but yeah, we do want we want raw and meals to be in there. Uh, we want we actually want corpses to be in there as well, um, except for humanoid corpses and mechanoid. So we want our animal corpses to be brought into here. So before they get chopped up, they're going to be frozen. All right, what do we got? Okay, venison, fantastic. Okay, so um, let's see. We've had one grave almost dug. <laughs> Which would be nice if we could get that finished off. Uh, I'm going to actually see if I can get Leon to prioritize hauling this back. Because that would be fairly nice of him. How are the boys doing? Okay, so we've got a few dead beavers here, which is good. Um, that one's just consuming. Uh, I think Nick's head... Uh, he did go back, but he's back out again now. Trying to finish them off. They've torn through this whole area, so... They they definitely were a problem that we needed to deal with, so I'm glad that we are... We're actually trying to tackle it now. Even if they aren't the best at doing it, they are getting it done. Alright. Leon's a little bit tired, but he's going to be able to get out there okay. Let's have a look at your thoughts, Nick. Yes, you're in darkness at the moment because you're outside. Um, I've been thinking about changing this area as well. I've been thinking about turning this into our kitchen preparation room. I think it's going to be good because we've got that right next to it. So I think that's probably what we're going to end up doing. Um, so we can probably look at deconstructing that there, and even deconstructing our stove as well. And we're going to rebuild those. Let's see. We want our butcher's table. Hmm... We can have them just across the, you know, across the room from each other, which I think will be fine. So we're just going to go on a bit of a deconstructing spree at the moment. All right, Logan's bringing some back, and that's good. So this should freeze within here, so we can see the temperature as the temperature's down, it's going to spoil in, um, you know, 
the same amount of days, although it's still not quite getting down to the temperature that I want it to be at. Uh, I'm thinking maybe it's just because it is so hot in here, it's not actually venting the temperature very well. So I may have to do something about that now. I was going to want to do this eventually, so I think I just need to I need to get it done. I need to get it done now, really. Um, so we're just going to dig through here, and essentially what we're going to be wanting to do is just create a vent that's going to lead out here. I'm going to make it quite long because I want other things in the building to be able to get into it as well. Uh, and that should do just fine for us. Ah, I see. We just need to deconstruct it. And what we can do then is just seal off that side of the wall. Alright, we've got a few animal corpses coming in here, which is good. Although, as I was saying, it's just still, it's not as cold as um, as we'd like it to be, really. But, yeah, it's great. We've almost got all of these corpses done, which is fantastic. Um, let's see. Actually, they, they are unforbid, which is good. Um, let's see. Logan, you're back out here as well. Nick, you've just finished them off. Brilliant. And so that was good, that was good shooting training for them as well. All right, Leon, what are you up to, buddy? Okay, good. He's going to start getting that vent done, which we need to get done. Um, we've still got some simple meals as well, so I'm not stressing out about the food at this stage, but obviously that blight, that really didn't help us as well. Um, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't great. Uh, now that the hunting is done, though, I'm just going to let them continue bringing the rest of the food in, because with the blight, we want to make sure that we do have some meat stored away. Um, but I think that Leon, oh, he didn't grab all of that, unfortunately, but he did grab some of that venison meat. Um, let's see. Hmm. Have you come back inside? You have come back inside. Um, I wonder, I'll let Logan eat. Leon's finished eating. What are you going to be doing? You're going to be mining. Um, I'd rather that he does this hauling at the moment. So I'm just going to kind of... Um, I'm just going to kind of try and micromanage him here for a moment. Just to make sure that he does actually get all of that and bring it inside. Because it would suck for it to just go to waste. Good job, Nick. Good job, Logan. And good job, Leon. So, yeah, unfortunately at this stage... Hang on. He didn't get... He didn't finish it he almost made it out there and then he stopped for some reason I'm not entirely sure why okay good okay he's got everything okay I can leave him to doing his thing the boys have turned in deciding to call it an early, an early night which I'm completely fine with they've had a big day fighting beavers outside so I'm completely okay with that I think Leon's going to want to call it a night as well, but no, okay, Logan's heading back out. Uh, I think it is because there is still just one out there, and he's going to want to finish it off. Okay, and he did. Great. Um, as soon as the rest of those are brought in, I'm going to take hunting off, because we don't need to hunt again for a while. Um, because we do have a decent amount of meat out there. Oh, there was one more. Nicely done, Nick, nicely done. Ah, Logan's getting back onto his growing, and so I would like to see, I'd like to see these get built first, though, actually. If you don't mind. We have struck compacted steel. Fantastic. Ah, nice that that's in there. So, it's going to take him a little bit longer to mine through there, but that is A-OK -okay by me. Okay, cool. That's Doug. We're now going to get these bodies put away. Ah, oh, that's right, the other one has already. Good. Let's unlock that. Alright, he's doing a good job, Leon. He's cutting through there nicely. I'm just going to check and see what everyone else is up to at the moment. Good, we've got two of these up. Fantastic. Now, it is night time, um, so we're not going to be getting anything from them, so I'm going to be fine with deconstructing these ones for now. And we're going to try and recreate them over here. So we're going to have a bit of a bank of them. And I'm going to look at moving these batteries inside as well, because um, having them outside is just its just too risky. How is this in here? Wow, it's really not. It's really not doing what it's meant to be doing. 
yeah so i think the sooner that i get this vent done the better i would designate that wall to be built now as well um but i don't want to accidentally trap leon inside because there is a chance that that uh that could happen okay i can't get rid of that one for now that's all right oh we've got research happening okay that's probably the first time the first time since we've been playing that Nick has actually been able to do some research. Uh, I'm actually going to allow him to keep on doing that, uh, although he's probably going to get torn away now that I've got some more construction tasks to be done. And if he's doing that, that means that... No, no, there's still bodies out there. Uh, so, instead of growing, I would like Logan to continue hauling, hauling those bodies in. So we're just going to tuck that on two for him for now. So... Hunting is still his number one priority. Um, just because, as you can see, we've gone through those we've gone through those small meals, so it's a bit of a bummer. Um, I would have liked us to, to have been able to get these built up again quickly, but unfortunately, that is not the case. And we're going to get some quite big debuffs from eating on the floor, eating raw food, so it's not great. Um, but now that those are actually out the way, I can look at getting these built again, which is good because we need them up and running as soon as possible, really. There we go. That's one way to bring them in. And I think Leon is going to call it a night. And that, my friends, is where I'm going to be calling it a day. Thank you all for joining me. Now, we've had to tear down a few things. The colony isn't in the best shape, but I promise you, It'll only be getting better and better, so stick with me. And until next time, stay tuned.